so I'm up at the Grampians Peaks Trail, Trailhead of Mount Zero, or Flat Rock, or whatever it's called, um, with Joanne. We're about to set off on the Grampians Peaks Trail. Should be an interesting walk. Um, sounds really good. Nice campsites. I've done a lot of the track over the years, but this will be the first time I've linked it all together. So we'll see how it goes. All right, so bit of infrastructure, our first bit of walking infrastructure. It's actually got some spray in it, which is unusual. All right, we're off, up Flat Rock. So the Grampians Peaks Trail starts off on the new Mount Zero, which is over there. We don't climb Mount Zero on this walk, but we go up straight away, we're into Flat Rock, which, um, I don't know, someone with a keen sense of irony named because it's anything but flat. And that's Hollow Mountain over there where I was yesterday. All right, we're up over Flat Rock. And now we're going around the, well, we're gonna start the Mount Stapleton Amphitheater kind of traverse. This is specky country through here. Probably best in the afternoon, but it's still pretty sweet. So I can hear some rock climbers up there on the Taipan walls. I can't see them. Anyway, they're braver than me, that's for sure. So we're just climbing up now to a place called Bird Rock, up this ramp below the, the Taipan walls. It's pretty specky. Well, the view is. And that's looking back across the flat rock. So I've located those climbers that I could hear in the trees. I don't know if it's coming up on the video, just above that tree line and that kind of a ledge. They're just getting set to climb. Hmm. I'm heading up here. Yeah, so this is known as Bird Rock for obvious reasons. Okay, I'm on the Mount Stapleton side trip. Um, there's a few ways to skin this cat. There's a, I don't know if you can see the, the arrows on the rock there. So it goes up that ledge. And then they recommend people stop at that kind of spur at the top up there. You can scramble to the top up that way as a marked track, but there is another way. And that's up here, this gully, and then up a ledge. So I'm gonna make it into a round trip, go up the gully, and then come down the tourist track. So, well, I haven't been up the gully for a few years, but I reckon we'll be okay, unless it's too scrubby. All right, I'm not gonna video it though, until I get out of the scrub. So after a couple of minutes scouting around, I found my little ledge, or little kind of, well, I suppose the ledge I'm gonna climb up. Um, it's not marked, obviously, and it's a little bit of scrubby to get onto it. But once I'm up around that corner, which is pretty airy, it's an easy climb to the top there, and it's short. So I just scrambled up that ledge, and now I'm gonna um, just basically climb straight up to the top, which is only about oh, less than 50 meters, I guess. So I'm up on the, I'm up the scrambling bit of the, we'll call it the alternate route up um, Mount Stapleton. This is just a steep walk up rock now, but I'm almost at the top. So I'm doing this without my pack, Joanne has stayed back at the turn off and she's um, having, having a break and looking after the gear, kind enough to look after my pack for me. You could probably um, fairly safely stash your pack in the bushes. Well, there are a few day trippers that do get up here. So I think I've just joined onto the tourist track, but I could be wrong. <clears throat> and this is the top of the first peak 
on the Grand Pins Peaks Trail. This is Mount Stapleton. Ooh. And that's Mount Zero. Looks a bit smaller from up here. So from this kind of, this end of the peak, that's flat rock, that's the big, uh, not flat rock, that's the rocks below uh, where the bird rock was. We kind of climbed up above that rock slabs. That's flat rock down there between us and Mount Zero. And this is the tourist track. I don't know if the phone will pick it up, but there's a couple of, you might see a red painted arrow on the rock down there, or you might not. All right, so I picked up the old tourist track, which is, an easier way down, maybe a bit longer. So see there's some faded, you can see a faded red one there on the rock. Um, I don't know that they're promoting this anymore. I think they kind of might be letting it return to nature because there is one ledge that you've got a vertical two meter climb. I think they ask people to, or they kind of don't recommend people go past there. But anyway, I'll video it when I get there. So this is that ledgy bit that I was, um, I was talking about before you kind of walk this ledge and you've got to down climb to the next ledge it's pretty easy there's some good good hand and footholds but it is pretty much vertical i think this is it here somewhere judging by the arrow pointing off the edge yeah, this isn't it actually, it must be, oh, that's the next one down. That's that next arrow. Yeah, this is the vertical bit. It's only short, I reckon two, maybe two and a half metres tops. Anyway, make your own mind up when you get here. So yeah, I'm um, I'm back on the, the bit that parks promote now and it's got yellow, yellow arrows, I think. Um, and I'll meet my, the gully that I scrambled up to get up the hill is that gully. We'll get up Mount Stapleton and there's that gully right in front of us. Well, if I could see around the tree, there's that gully there. It's a little bit scrubby, that's anything. This cave's always nice to check out, especially on a wet day, you can get out of the rain for a while. Yeah. So that's our first cave we're gonna walk through. So, Joe and I are doing videos or photos of each other, but hey, gotta keep social media happy. So we've swung past a spot called the Mount of Olives. We've left the rock for a while. We're on a sandy track. First time we've really been on sand for any length of time. Do it feels soft on your feet. So we've just um, passed the turn off to the Stapleton camp, which is a 12K loop. Heading for copper mine track now. Uh, I think there's a tank at copper mine track. So, but I think there'll be plenty of water up at the campsite tonight as well. It's all good. It's clouded over a bit. It's a bit overcast now. It's not cold though. It's probably, um, I'm guessing, 15, 16 degrees. Track's really easy along here too, so basically cruising along. So we just crossed copper mine track, I think it was. There's a tank down there. Now we're climbing up a bit along to a ridge. And I think the campsite is up there somewhere. We'll see how we go, probably another hour or so. There's a nice little waterfall. Well, it's not a waterfall, it's a soak. So we're on one of the numerous rock slab traverses now. We've come from those mountains over there in the in the distance. Yeah, this is um 
a Grand Prince Peak special, I think, where you walk a rock slab or a rock rib, whatever you want to call it, until you see an arrow to walk off it. So um, it's about 2.30. We set off at, I think it was around 10. So we're almost, I think it's Barriga, Barrigar or Budgerigar or something camp, I think. I'd be surprised if we're not there by three. So Joe's striding off ahead. I'm guessing we follow it down. Yeah. I think the campsite's in that valley. Okay, back on track. We uh, had a little side excursion down that, those rock slabs before. While we're busy admiring the view, we missed the actual track. Anyway, we're back on track now. Epic down there. There's a nice little bit of track. We're just crossing below a waterfall. So, this is the Barraga hiking site. It's very flash. And there's some seats up there. Crow laughing at us in the distance. You got um, yeah, I see a black sitting up there in the on the seats up there, reclining on a rock. But well, in the sound of that noise, I'd say someone's opening the outdoor entertainment area at the front of the hut here. Someone in there. You got the big deck, well, steps deck, and a tank. So this is our little camp setup. So Joe's got the the bottom platform. I've got this one. Enough room for the triplex. Just had to get a bit creative. Dinner served. It's almost hike of midnight. Okay, we're at camp. Um, according to all trails, we walked about 13.6 k's today. On, I suppose I call it a medium day's walking. Those tracks are awesome. Um, a lot of work going into them, stone, wall, stone work and things like that. Um, we did manage to follow a creek at one stage down. Got a bit geographically embarrassed for a few minutes, but that was soon righted. Anyway, um, apart from that, it was a pretty good day. There was plenty of water around, plenty of water in the tank up here. The facilities are very flash. I reckon it's time for bed. <laughs> 